Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to change the motors layout in Betaflight. I've just finished this complicated build and I fortunately somehow I got the flight controller reversed. So wiring everything up would be very very complicated because the 4-in-1 is all the way down here. So I had to find out how to change the motor layout in Betaflight and today I'm going to share this knowledge with you. So basically this is a classical Betaflight motor layout. Motor 1 is here, 2, 3 and 4 and this is the front of the quadcopter. So what happens if you accidentally or even intentionally place your flight controller in reverse which means right now this is the front of the quadcopter. So what I recommend to do is basically take a piece of paper and write down this layout and then just turn it around then write the same layout again. So this is motor 1, this is motor 2, this is motor 3, and this is motor 4. Then just go over the motors and mark down the number that your current motor need to be remapped to. This is motor 1, it has to be remapped to motor 4. Motor 2 has to be remapped to motor 3, motor 3 to motor 2, and motor 4 to motor 1. Same goes for any other orientation. If you're gonna turn it around like that, motor 1 is over here, so motor 2 is going to map to motor 1 and so on. In this example, I'm going to use the 180 degrees. So now let's move on to beta flight. Now just connect to your flight controller on beta flight. I'm using beta flight 3.2. Then go to the CLI and write resource list. What you need to look for is Moto1, Moto2, Moto3, and Moto4. As you remember, we have to remap Moto1 to be Moto4, Moto2 to 3, 3 to 2, and 4 to 1. So what we need to enter is resource motor, then the number of the motor you want to move. So we're gonna first move Moto4 to Moto1. So Moto4 is actually going to be Moto1, which is AO6. Then we have to resource motor 2, and motor 2 is where motor 3 is, so it's A11. Then motor 3, motor 3 is where motor 2, so it's A07. The last one to change is motor 1, so motor 1 is where motor 4 is, motor 4 is A12, and then we're done. Then all you have to do, just hit save. The flight controller is going to reboot. And let's check, right now, A06 is Moto4, A07 Moto3, A11, and A12 is Moto1. Now, by the way, if you're going to flash new firmware, these settings are going to be deleted. So make sure to back up all the settings. In case you upgrade your flight controller, you will still have this Moto layout, so it's worth saving. Overall, I think that writing everything down on a piece of paper will eventually save you time, although it seems a little bit trivial. As always, I thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.